Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Juan from my science project. I actually did the One Punch Man regimen. So the One Punch Man regimen is from an anime called One Punch Man. It's about this guy who actually can defeat anyone with one punch, and all he did to gain those powers are 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10k run every single day for two years in a row. And after that, you know, he gets powers. And he breaks all human limits, he can destroy monsters, he can do this, he can do that. And, you know, I know it's going to be a little bit difficult uh, for me to achieve those things with the time span that we have. So I chopped it up in about, uh, you know, about a week. You know, we're going to train up to the One Punch Man regimen, And I'm going to tell you how my body feels, how, you know, things are looking, if I feel better, if I feel worse one day or another, you know. I'm going to tell you how it feels and what I'm doing to help my body and this and that, you know. So, all right, let's get right into it. And I hope you guys have a good time. Before we do get into all the days and all the things that we actually did, I'm going to talk about a little bit of the things, the, the muscles that are being worked on and things like that. So as far as it go with the push-ups, you know, you got the pushing motion, you got the core with the, with the sit-ups, you got your leg training with the squats, and you got a lot of cardio with the run. And, you know, as far as this goes, fitness-wise, this would be a pretty good thing um, separated from what other people are doing at the gym. You know, this is a lot of body weight exercises and a lot of things like that. So there's a lot less uh, risk for injury as well. You know, it's um, it's pretty good for you, and there's a lot of movement. So the variety is what is there. I'm, I'm guessing you're not hitting as many different muscle groups, I would say, or different muscles. But the overall exercise itself is actually great you know you know what day one rolls around i'm feeling great i'm waking up in the morning i'm supposed to run 2.5 miles i run them 2.5 miles and i'm doing 40 push-ups 40 sit-ups and 40 squats at the end of the day today i feel like god i feel like i can do anything this training is going to be easy there is nothing and I'm telling you, there is nothing that can slow me down. Doing this today felt like a breeze. The only thing that gave me slight difficulty was the squats. Because, you know, I'm not much of a squat guy. You know, I don't really do them in the weight room too much. But everything else, super easy. The running was light for me. You know, light work. You know how we do up in here. So, you know, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to rest. I'm going to stretch tonight. We're going to wake up tomorrow and we're going to see how day two goes. Hey, what's up, guys? For day two, we have 3.5 miles, 55 push-ups, 55 sit-ups, and 55 squats. That was what we were supposed to do, but today I took it a little bit slower because it was really cold outside, and I did not feel like running the 3.5 miles. So I only ran 2.5 miles. I ran the same distance as yesterday. I reached the same spot, then I went back. So, I mean... It is a little bit disappointing that I couldn't reach a goal for today, but it didn't really slow me down too much. I know I can still reach the, the distance for tomorrow, but everything else was good. Again, I woke up a little sore in my core from all the sit-ups. 55 squats were good. You know, obviously it still gave me a little bit of trouble because I'm not used to them yet, but nothing I can't handle yet. Hopefully I wake up pretty good tomorrow and we'll see how it is. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Juan. For day three today, we ran four miles. We did 65 push-ups, 65 squats, and we did 65 sit-ups. And for today, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, today was probably one of the rougher days. I It was a little bit nicer in the morning. You know, waking up, it wasn't as cold as yesterday. So running was definitely, I was definitely comfortable, but I think I forgot how long four miles really were, so... On my body, you know, it did hurt me a little bit, and it did affect me again in the squats. But with the push-ups and sit-ups today, we were good. We finished those in a breeze. It was easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. So, you know, we got that, and we only got to look forward to tomorrow. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Juan. Uh, it is currently 5.15 in the morning. It's day four, and... I don't think I can participate today. I'm so sore. My legs feel awful. I think I need to take a day off. So, sadly, that's what I'm going to have to do because my body just, we're not dealing with that right now. So, day four, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but we're just not doing it today. I'm going to go back to bed. I just 
can't right now. <laughs> we can't do it. All right. But I'm going to see y'all. Thank you. I'm going to see you day five tomorrow. Coming into day five. Today we had 5.5 miles, 80 push-ups, 80 squats, and 80 sit-ups. Looking back to the days, and I remember saying that this was going to all be a breeze. Thinking about how it's only been five days and I've had this much adversity to look ahead into every single day. I kind of laugh at the fact that I thought it was going to be easy the first day. But now I'm feeling a little bit sore, you know. I'm happy I took the day off yesterday because it was a lot easier for me to do everything. The 5.5 miles, I forget how long they were going to take. So I woke up at the normal time. You know, I woke up at 5 thinking, you know, it's going to be easy. I didn't get home until like around 6. So, you know, the 5.5 miles did take me a little longer than expected. But, you know, we adapt, we overcome, and I did do the rest of the workout later the afternoon today on Friday. So, you know, we do that. Hopefully tomorrow we can have a great day too. And all right, can't wait for it. Coming into day six today, guys, I decided to turn it back a little again. So I decided to run 3.5 miles, do 60 push-ups, 60 squats, and 60 sit-ups. Only for the fact that tomorrow I am going to be running the full one punch man challenge. So... I don't really, really want to overload myself, but I also didn't want to take the day off because I already know I took day four off and taking too many days off could mess up my consistency. So, you know, or it could mess up my progress. So I'm deciding, you know, I'm just going to take it slow today, have a nice 3.5 mile run. And, you know, that's what it was. You know, it was a little was a little stressful getting into the running today. I felt a little more sore than usual. But overall, it was great, and I can't wait for tomorrow to see what happens, to talk about my results, and to talk about everything else. All right, so we are at the last straw. Today is the last day. Today, I did run the full 10K. I did do 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, and 100 squats. To tell you about it, to be honest, guys, the worst part is always going to be that running. It just... The running is just a lot, and it probably takes up the most time, and that's probably what would make most people give up. But for me, you know, running sometimes can be a good way to, you know, get stress off my mind. And, you know, I just put in my headphones in, and I usually forget about everything that's happening when I'm running. I'm just running forward, and that's how it is. And that's exactly what it was. Running the 10 mile, the not the 10 miles, the 10K, was particularly actually, actually pretty fun, you know. I did get to run. And it took me about an hour and like six or seven minutes. I don't remember the exact. And the rest of it, I got home. I did pretty quick. I didn't do the squats until I went to bed right before because my legs were pretty sore. And I, honestly, I was just pretty lazy and I didn't want to finish it. So there was that. But overall, you know, I've been having fun doing the One Punch Man training. And now you're going to get to see Juan in real life. And he's going to get to talk to you about his experience with it how he feels and what he thinks he could have done better, this or that, you know. But overall, I think it's pretty rewarding. I feel good. Maybe I'll keep going with it. Who knows? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Juan. So, today it is Monday morning. How am I going to edit this video in time? Who knows? We'll figure that out in time. But if I get picked today in class, oopsie doopsie, might as well just go tomorrow. But anyway, so to talk about everything, today I woke up. I'm actually not as sore as I expected, but I am more sore than I have been before. But I'm not as bad as I expected. Um, I think it would be a lot more beneficial to do this over a big span of time. But the challenge itself, it's not a challenge unless you go into it right away. If you take your time and do it gradually, I don't know, for me it's kind of cheating because... You know, the whole point of the challenge is it's it's mostly all mental because no one can really go two years with doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's a really religious process and, you know, it, it could psych a lot of people out. So I think it's cheating it, or if you work up to that, but, you know, that's just me. But anyway, you know, the one punch man training, it's been good. It's been hard. I'm happy that I did it. Some better things that I could have done. I probably could have changed my diet a little. But I didn't really feel like it because I knew I wasn't going to go through with this for 
the whole three months but you know it was something good to try it's always good to challenge yourself my i think it was a good intro you know just to get back into the whole working out rhythm after soccer season maybe it was good but hey we'll see how it goes thank you guys again for having me in anatomy class